Hey guys, Jukit here from Geo Gaming, and I'm finally back with another video. Um, the reason that I didn't been uploading for a few days, actually, almost, a w I think it is a week actually, is that I had a very hard week of my life uh, just passed by. Don't want to talk too much about it, so I'm not going to tell you guys anything because it's just too hard. But um, yeah, I'm finally back. And uh, I worked on this project a fairly long time, I c and I call it Unbreakable Defense. And uh, if you can see right now, right here, there are a lot of command blocks, and maybe you can see in the top a little bit going on. And this is it. This I you probably you guys probably know I love volleyball. It's my favorite sport. And uh, because I became second of um, the west of Holland. Yes, I did. I made this. I couldn't do anything with the particles, so I apologize for that. I don't know what the output for that is. If you know it, then leave in your comment what it is, wh how you can do the output of particles false. I know how to uh, tile drop right here f from the first tutorial, I think. Yes, the tile drops that it won't uh, drop anything at all. But um, this is how it works actually. So this guy, this this black guy, is keep on smashing the white ball to the green and uh, white guy who keep on dodging it with his arms back to him. And this guy can can just break his defense. That's why it's called unbreakable defense. It's it's actually a little literally. Uh, Minecraft animation, but um, the way how this works, I put some uh, command blocks in a row uh, for the commands, what this has to do, and then with redstone and repeaters, the um, the speed of how, how fast this has to go. So now you see, uh, it's one step that way, I don't know how to say it actually, if you get like this, it's one, yeah, okay, um, <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, I just have to come back in because it's su such a long time. G gosh, understand that. But um, here I have the um, all the kind of stuff I needed to make this actually. I need to place the ball, destroy the ball, place the figure, and destroy the figure. And what I do is set block, list the ball the snow, so then you have to type in the coordinates of where the ball is going to be. You can't actually type in the coordinates of like F3 because I tried it but it won't work. Maybe it's it's going to be new or I just did it, it right. But um yeah, what you do, you type in the coordinates away from this block like 8 this way, 6 up or something. And then uh, you do the type of minecraft block you want to set in. So I want the snowball or snow block as a ball or square. However you want to call it. Don't care. Leave it. I'm done with it. Okay. So type minecraft and then you type the type uh, and then you set the type of block you want to have. And zero destroy so it won't get more particles than it has to be. To destroy something, it actually replaces something with air. So you can't actually uh, destroy something. You can can just say like uh, one destroy. I tried it, but it won't work. You actually have to set uh, reset it with air. So you have actually two outputs. If you stand it right here, you here you have to place the ball, and here you have to destroy the ball. Type in the coordinates right here to place it, and type in the coordinates right here to place air. So that's how you do it with the ball. The same goes with actually the figures, but then I did this one with obsidian, that one with emerald blocks. Well, I t I at first I wanted to try it with other blocks, like uh, I wanted to have an emerald or balls, so it looks kind of cool, but it, it drops XP balls, and I didn't know how to change that, like tile drop false that won't work so you will see every single XP drop ball it drops on the floor so I didn't do that and just change the snow yeah, gosh 
and um, actually w same with uh, the, uh, with this figure you can actually type obsidian just like this obsidian zero destroy but with the block of emerald like it's standing right here it's standing block of emerald of course but what you see right here this th for the figure right there so it can move his arm like this into each other so he can uh, dodge the ball it is actually oh wait wrong one sorry it actually is emerald block instead instead of block of emerald so you have to a little bit change the names of the blocks while you think it actually is taken literally of what is standing so you keep on doing that every formation is standing here what it has to do and uh, each output is taken in i don't see any mistakes right here only that it's de destroying something but it's coming back so it's probably one destroy but um yeah the reasons how how it go it keep on going uh, again first i wanted to go just first this was a lot bigger with more command blocks because i thought i would need them but when i saw that this actually um fits into back into that one i thought like uh, just play some redstone and repeaters with uh, just on this w this way no not this but just wait what just like this but the signal wasn't connecting uh, exactly to it, so you will, will say like, half see like half a second, the ball just floating in the air and doing nothing. Now it's going kind of a good uh, speed, but then it will uh, just uh, float for half a second or longer. So I thought I just place uh, some kind of clock, and I do it in such a way. I set it in such a way that when the ball is actually there. I will that it will actually restart again. So it's going. The signal is going r around, and exactly when it's here to restart again, then it's actually finished the whole thing. So it restarts exactly again. Um, so yeah, that's actually it for this. I find it pretty cool because it's just I didn't know I could actually do this. But um, the also the reason why this got five is because um, in this one you have to place two blocks and destroy two blocks. Same right here. So that's why uh, sometimes you have a little um, thing going around it. But I find it pretty cool because it just looks awesome and you got a little animation what keeps on repeating and you don't have to do anything for it. You don't have to place anything. It's just a machine and you only have to program it. It takes a lot of time. I didn't work a lot uh, of time in a row, but I think it. Li I think it took like seven hours or longer. So you have to have patience for it. Um, I know some things look a little weird, but like this right here, like it's g buggy on right there. And I really want you guys, if you guys know that, how you can um, delete those particles because that looks a little bit weir weird and then it will go more smoothly. But um, yeah, if you want to try this by yourself, I'm not going to set commands in the description because I just show you, you just can uh, scroll back into the video and every type of um, uh, command is, is different. So I can try to do it for you guys. Then I will do um, like destroy and just place. But then uh, you have to s uh, set it on by yourself how you want to do it. Uh, with what, which kind of material. Also if you want to do it with wool. You can type like black wool or something. Or wool black. If You, you can only type wool and then you get white wool. So um, yeah that's it for this time. Uh, th th that project over there is kind of s not secret, but you will see uh, when it's done. You also will see that in a few. Uh, when it's done, I will record it and I will set it on YouTube as well. So um, keep on watching, uh, checking my channel by subscribing. Also, leave a like so it can get much support. Share this video so it can grow and give you a lot more of those tutorials and cool stuff I just want to see. Uh, Hunger Games is going to uh, come again. So uh, 
yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed uh subscribe if you're new and slap that like button with your beat guys and let's see it then i see you guys all later peace off